We're late. Not late. The last time we were late, Taylor said there would be consequences. He did not. He said there would be severe consequences. Mia, what time is it? Are we late? I hope so. Not Mia. I'm sorry, but it's been two years since I've gotten to go to a town meeting, and I want some controversy. Aha! Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that. Yeah, boy, I was lucky you had your phasers on stun, huh? <laughs> well, at least we're not late. Luke's never late. Actually, we're two minutes early. Yeah. We should get a prize for being on time. Hey, Luke, let's go back to the diner and get some pie as our reward for being on time. Then you'd be late. A funny conundrum, but I want pie. You're harassing me now. I'm not harassing you. We're your groupies. Oh, Luke, you're so dreamy. Be my guy. Now be my guy. Bringing up the need for more police protection yeah, at this thing. Taken. And I... I think we're late. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Meeting was supposed to start at 8, Taylor. It's a minute to 8. Well... Oh, you might as well be honest with them, Taylor. Be honest with them about what? Well, if you must know, there was a special issue that the business community had to deal with first, so we decided to start early tonight. I'm in the business community, and I wasn't told about it. Taylor? All right, fine. You weren't invited, Luke. And why is that? Controversy. You weren't invited because we are dealing with the Jess situation. The Jess situation? Uh-oh. This is the Wild West. We'd be pushing the horse aside and diving into the water trough right about now. Damn it, Taylor! Luke, honey, calm down. After all, this is all you're doing. If you hadn't so cavalierly dismissed the issue, we wouldn't have had to do this. I lost business because of what your hooligan nephew did. How was business lost, Taylor? If you had to open a little late that day, your customers just came back later. Not so. When Mrs. Lanahan couldn't buy her head of lettuce that morning for her lunch, she drove straight to Woodbury to buy lettuce from a competing market. Isn't that right, Mrs. Lanahan? Mrs. Lanahan? You really shouldn't be driving anymore. Word has it that she was telling other dosy market shoppers that Woodbury lettuce is crisper. That's business flying out the door. OK, fine. How much is a head of lettuce? A buck? Oh, let's go crazy. Give me five heads. This goes well beyond a head of lettuce, young man. The charges against your nephew are numerous. He stole the Save the Bridge money. He gave that back. He stole a gnome from Babette's garden. Mm -hmm. Pierpont was also returned. He hooded one of my dance classes. He took a garden hose from my yard. My son said he set off the fire alarms at school last week. I heard he controls the weather and wrote the screenplay to glitter. I think it's time for me to pipe in here. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. I have every right to pipe in here, Luke. I'm a local entrepreneur. You took over your father's newsstand, Bootsy. It doesn't make you an entrepreneur. And you took over your old man's hardware store. And turned it into a Diner. Big whoop! Who can't fry an egg? Let's keep things moving here, boys, huh? I never liked the look of that kid from the second I saw him. Unbelievable! Excuse me, but I've got the floor. You don't have the floor. I'm standing, aren't I? Well, I was standing first, which means I have the floor, and I'm not giving it to you. What is with you two? This goes way beyond the chess matter, Taylor. Luke's been on my case since the first grade when he wrongfully accused me of sabotaging a clay imprint that he made of his hand. Ooh. Think hard. Was he dressed like Sulu? No one cares about the stupid clay hand, Bootsy. And you stomped on it while it was dry and three kids saw you. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Boys, please. The bottom line here is that there is a consensus among townspeople who are in agreement that Stars Hollow was a better place before Jess got here. So this half of the room gets the tar and the other half gets the feathers? Well, there hasn't been any talk of tar and feathers, although... Look, I've lived in this town my entire life, longer than most everybody here. Beg to differ. I'm five weeks older than you. That means I've been here five weeks longer. I've never bothered anyone. I've kept to myself, and I've done the best I could. I pay my taxes, and I help people when I can. I haven't pitched in on the decorative pageantry town stuff because it all seems insane to me, but I don't get in the way of that stuff either. What's your point, Luke? His point is... Do you mind? Be my guest. His point is that if there's a problem... And I'm not saying there's a problem. Right, he's not saying there is a problem, but if there is, give him time to deal with it before you storm his diner with torches and pitchforks. Right, what I'm dealing with being a problem that I don't necessarily agree that I even have. Right. I didn't get that last part. Lay off him, because what you're all doing stinks. I'm done here. I'm done with all of you. Oh, and I was going to stay open later in case anyone wanted to eat after the meeting. Forget that. His turkey burgers are very dry. 